This is an example of extra mammary Paget's disease. In this case, it is involving the vulva. Extra mammary Paget's disease is clinically and histologically similar to Paget's disease of the breast, but, of course, it affects areas excluding the breast. As in Paget's disease of the breast, there are adenocarcinoma cells in the epidermis, but instead of the cells originating from the breast ducts, eccrine glands or hair follicles are almost always involved, and there is often apocrine differentiation in extra mammary Paget's. This is another example of Paget's disease of the vulva, and the disease can be seen to arise from the eccrine glands that are being distended by the malignant process. And this is a higher power view of the eccrine duct with a comedotype necrosis in the middle of it. Sites that extra mammary Paget's disease can occur in include the vulva, where they account for around 1% of vulval cancers, the commoner stage being around the seventh decade. Other sites include anus, perineum, scrotum, axilla, eyelid and the external ear. Differential diagnosis includes Bowen's disease, melanocytic tumours that may either be benign or malignant, and pagetoid spread of visceral cancers, for example rectum, prostate and bladder. Clinically, the lesions tend to be circular, erythematous plaques, they may be weeping and crusted, and quite often they are multifocal. Histologically, the Paget cells are large pale cells, and in contrast to Paget's disease affecting the breast, cells are often vacuolated, and the vacuoles contain mucin. So mucin stains are quite useful in diagnosing extramammary Paget's disease. The cells tend to be basally situated and present as either single cells or in clusters. The usual immunoprofile in extramammary Paget's disease is positive staining for CEA, CK7 and GCDFP15, with negative staining for CK20. However, in Paget's disease in the perianal region, CK20 is usually positive. Interestingly, in Paget's disease of the vulva, it is not oestrogen receptor positivity you see in the Paget cells, but androgen receptor positivity. So here is extra mammary Paget's disease affecting the vulva, extending from the eccrine glands up into the epidermis. This is a higher power view showing the pale Paget cells that are in areas vacuolated. And finally, this is a PAS stain for mucin that nicely demonstrates the globules of mucin in the Paget cells. You can see that they tend to be situated towards the basal aspect of the epidermis.